Hello everyone, welcome to another awesome video about TST and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add and how to remove liquidity from TST from ETA TST liquidity pool on SushiSwap okay so what I want to further ado uh, let me dive straight into it okay so what we have here is Uniswap opened sorry is sushi swap opened within the uh, browser of trust wallet okay so if you've uh, if you've watched my uh, video on uniswap and also on money swap you probably know how to you know uh, connect to your open the browser of trust wallet and uh, browse for sushi swap so what you do once you get to this point is uh, first of all, make sure you've added TST to your, the list of your to the default list of Sushi Swap. If you have not done that, you will see a select token here. Okay, let me show you guys. Okay, if you have not um, added TST to the default list of your Sushi Swap, okay. Uh, by how you do that is by using the smart contract and uh, sorry the token address or the contract address of TST If you don't have that information the information is going to be in the description below Okay, so You click on there will be select token here when you click on select token then you now search with the token address Okay, to search with the token address then you will now add TST to your default list okay so after you've done that what you do next okay what you do next is you click on pool all right when you click on pool okay when you click on pool it brings you to this point okay as you can see i already have i've already provided liquidity for tst and i have three percent of liquidity uh, provided on uh, of the liquidity pool or the pool share okay so meaning that, that meaning that i am the highest liquidity provider for tst for ETA tst or sushi swap exchange all right so you can beat me to it all right so there are two ways to go about it assuming you already have uh you have already, already have the ETA tst pool showing in your in your pool area then you simply click add all right you simply click add but in a situation whereby you have not provided liquidity before okay and nothing is showing in this liquidity area what you do is you click import all right you click on import import it so when you click on import it what happens is that you use uh you use uh what's it called the, the contract address or the token address of tst to do to import tst ETA tst liquidity pool so what you do is right here okay you click on this arrow okay you click on this arrow right here then it brings out a list of cryptocurrencies or tokens erc20 tokens then you use the contract address of TST to search for TST. If you've already added it to your list, it should be easy for you to select. Okay, so once you've done that, you will now be asked to provide liquidity. Now, like I was telling, like I'll show you guys, okay, when you search for when you want to search for TST in the uh, list of uh, tokens okay you paste the contract address inside this area that says search name or paste address okay when you paste address it's going to bring out tst all right now when it brings out tst here in this area you're going to see add instead of remove okay click on the add so that it remains permanent in the list okay if you do not click add what it means is that every single time you stop transaction or maybe you you moved away from sushi swap okay and you came back tst will not be in your default sushi swaps list 
okay so it's always good to click the add when you click add then the what will be replaced uh, the add will be replaced by remove so if i want to remove tsd from the list of my sushi swap default uh, tokens i will have to click remove okay so i just want to do that for clarification's sake all right so i haven't done that okay this is what you will see you can see it's pool found now in the situation whereby pool is not found okay because i already have uh, i've already provided liquidity in the situation whereby pool is not found it's going to ask you to add liquidity okay remember pool is only found if you've already provided liquidity if you have not provided liquidity it will not find any pool assigned to your address okay or any pool assigned any pool assigned uh, any ether tst pool assigned to your address it won't find it so in that case you have to add liquidity so what you do is you click on an option will appear that will ask you to click add okay when you click add you see ether at the top you see tst at the bottom so what do you do okay simple what you do is you provide liquidity all right you provide liquidity you add uh the amount of ether you want to provide based on uh, ether you have in your balance automatically to show you the amount of tsd that you have to provide okay so always make sure you have enough ether so in this case like i have my balance 0 0.08 i can decide to provide liquidity of 0 0.01 tst and it, will tell, and it will tell me automatically how many TST I will provide. So after doing that, if I provide any figure, what happens is that it will... Okay. Sorry. If I provide any figure here, it will ask me to approve the supply. Okay. It will ask me to, first of all, approve the supply. Okay. Now, in a situation whereby you've already approved... TST before in your account or, or with or your account on sushi swap what happens is that you click supply okay so uh, when you get to that stage if you follow this whole process of this video when you get to that stage you will know what I'm saying okay so this is all about how to add liquidity on TST on ETA TST pool on sushi swap now let's talk about removing liquidity let's say fast forward three months has gone six months has gone one year has gone and you want to withdraw some liquidity like me i prefer i don't pre i don't prefer going 100 percent out of the market so probably want to do 10 percent withdrawal or 20 percent withdrawal whatever it is okay what you do is you know, at this point you click on remove okay you click on remove you come to this point in your pool section and click on remove when you do that what happens is it brings you to this point so you see 25 50 percent 75 percent max these are the percentage withdrawal uh is uh, you will have to choose from that you want to do if you want if you do max what it means is that you're removing 100 percent of the liquidity you provided which i don't advise that okay so that's why i said long term when you think long term okay what happens is that after a long time you can do 10 percent if you want to if you want to choose 10 percent or if you want to choose any percentage that is not among the ones listed here all you have to do is drag this knob okay or drag this button as you're dragging it this direction this percentage will be increasing so you drag to you see the percentage you want to draw. Let's say you don't want to do 25%. Let's say you want to do 20%, for example, or 15%. All you have to do is just click on the knob. Okay. Drag it this direction and monitor this percentage. The moment it says the it shows you whether it's 10%, 15%, or 20%, depending on you okay depending on you do i advise 5 10 15 20 percent 20 percent max okay so that to give your uh to give you room to earn more 
All right. So let's say you've done that. Okay. Let's say you've done that. All right. What you now do is you first of all you now approve. Okay. Same with when you are adding liquidity for the first time. So you approve, then you you now uh, remove liquidity. So in this case now you've not chosen any amount, but let's say you've chosen an amount and you click on approve. What you will see here. Okay. What you see next will be to remove liquidity. Okay. It's very simple. So part of the reason why I'm doing this is to enlighten you guys to let you know that, hey, you can provide liquidity and there's nothing to be afraid of because you can always request your withdrawal. It's not a fixed deposit per se, but if you really want to make good money from transaction fees, you have to think long term. You have to think minimum three months, six months, even up to one year as a liquidity provider. Uh, I've showed you guys uh, in some of my videos uh, a screenshot of one of my accounts on Uniswap that uh, for a period of five months was providing liquidity for Ether TST pool. Okay, the transaction fee and cumulative transaction fee and so it was two thousand dollars plus. All right, so it's all about long term. Okay, it's all about long term. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have questions, please feel free to ask a question in the comment section. And most importantly, my contact information, information is in the comment section, in the, con in the description of this video. You can always reach me. And also very important information are also uh, in the description below. So to then, take care. Bye for now.